So I've got another board, another set of parts for another project. This project is not a pedal, it is a miniature guitar amplifier. It's going to be based on what's called the Ruby amp, um, and it's based on the LM386 chip with an MPF102 transistor. I'm going to put this in a, you know, I aim to put this in a foot pedal enclosure and I'm going to drill some holes on it so that the little speaker that I've bought can, you know, play through it. I have no idea what it sounds like. I might need a bigger speaker to sound usable. I'm probably going to put a 9 volt battery in it. And um, these are all the parts that I need. I've started carving my board up. Um, I've got all the little bits and pieces I need. Now this is an 8 ohm 0 0.25 watt speaker. <laughs> it's going to blow your doors off. Or not. Um, this little thing will fit inside a guitar foot pedal enclosure. And then I'm going to have my knobs on the top as well. So I've got a volume control and a gain control. Um, and then an, a guitar input and uh, obviously the circuit board's going to be in there with the chip on there and the transistor and the two capacitors and everything else so I'm going to build this up I'm going to see what it sounds like just with this setup um, and if I need a bigger speaker I'm probably going to have to do a bigger speaker So and then I'll, I'll make my own enclosure for it I might make an enclosure out of wood. I'll, you know, see what happens. But I, I have made a design where it will fit into a guitar pedal enclosure and an aluminium one where I can drill the holes on top of here and the speaker sound will come out hopefully. But it's all a bit of experimentation, um, but it's a bit of fun. I've put all my components in to the board. And that's the uh, the board finished. I I've just got to add the wiring, the nine volt ground, two potentiometers, the input, um, and then the speaker. Um, the speaker positive and ground, and the, that'll go to there and there. Um, and then I can uh, have a go at firing it up. What I want to do is make one of these small amps, but that would be the amp section. I also want to do like another separate distortion section. So maybe I could do something like the Sun Buzz or the Acapulco Gold or something like that inside of this amp so that you could have a really cool heavy distortion inside a really tiny amp but I think I'm gonna to have to buy a bigger speaker because that speaker is really small I don't think I'm gonna get a lot of sound out of it that's gonna be good or usable um, I think I need something slightly bigger in order to get get a good result with it but this is just a test for this for this so far um, I'm gonna get all this wire together now and give it a little test. I'm, I'm going to put a, uh, you know, like a distortion foot pedal through it just to see what it sounds like and then just see what it sounds like on its own as well. But um, hopefully it's as good as it sounds like on other YouTube videos. Alright, so I got all the bits done, wired up, um, but it didn't work. It didn't work. Just getting a lot of buzzing and crackling and crap. Tried everything, tried troubleshooting. There's no broken links. I've got a pretty good success rate at doing Vero boards, so I just think it's something to do with the circuit, maybe, or just something I've just not done right. I'm gonna just go and try another circuit. Obviously, it uses the same components, it only takes me about an hour to make, so I'm just gonna take most of my parts out of this one and chuck it in another Vera board and see if it can get it going. 
I will jump to that right now. I'm just starting this new board. Um, I found it on another website, but it's a bit weird looking. It's not really conventional, uh, so I don't know if it's been done by someone who's kind of pro at laying these things out. However, they do have working pictures of their amp, so I'm hoping that they've used this circuit and it's worked in whatever way they've slammed it together. They've used a different transistor, so I'm going to go and buy one of those transistors. I need to buy three, four, five capacitors tomorrow. So I'm going to have to wait another day until I do this, but I just thought I'd get the bare bones of it laid down. But this is what happens with Veriboard, you, uh, it's a bit hit and miss sometimes. So you need to understand that uh, you might have to be frustrated or disappointed when things don't work. And if you can't troubleshoot them, then <clears throat> just move on. Just move on to a different circuit. Um, do your research, look, look below at the comments and make sure people have tried it and tested it and it works. Because you don't really want to be wasting your time on something that no one else has done. So I tend to do, do stuff that says it's verified. Pretty sure that this one is. So maybe I've just done something stupid on the other one. But um, as I've been looking at these little amp circuits, I've gone down a rabbit hole and I've seen there's a whole load of other amp circuits and one's got a tube in it. So I'm pretty tempted to have a go at that at some point. Um, just for fun, really. I mean, I've got my own amps here, my Marshall and my Orange, and they're awesome amps, but I'd love to do my own thing perhaps to sell as a like a small tiny little practice amp or something like that um, but it's all food for thought really and all good fun all right so i've made a second circuit um and the only thing that's happened with this is the ic's just got mad hot so that's not working um and the other one's not working so the ruby amp i don't know what's going on with it so I'm going to try a different amp circuit because this one's just not working and yeah I'm going to have to make a new video because this is uh, it's a bit of a fail. So if anybody can tell me what is wrong with this Ruby amp circuit, well, let me know. Alright I just want to show that I'm not one to give up and I've tried to breadboard this damn thing from another like load of diagrams that I've found. Um, so you've got level and gain, little speaker on the end of the breadboard, it's going into my test box and it still don't work. I honestly don't know what's wrong with it so I'm well and truly just going to try and do a different a different circuit. I'm going to try and do this uh, honey tone amp I think it's called, um, see what happens with that. I mean maybe this is an 8 ohm speaker as well, it says use an 8 ohm speaker. I'm just absolutely baffled and I, and I can touch the input and I can hear it as I touch it making like noise so I know there's something there like just getting weird buzzes and crackles Ugh. Honestly, I just want to smash it to bits. Yeah, it's not working. It's not working. Okay, if you've got a if you've got a circuit for the for the Ruby amp that you think works, or you know what I'm doing wrong, let me know. I'm going to post this video. It's a fail, but let me know what I'm doing wrong, guys. Cheers.